second to Don Tristram on the outside of California, followed by star covered Le Grand Moose, Ebony Grove, and two and a half lengths away, Baboo's Boy. Around the top turn, and with 700 to go, Might and Power the leader. West Point second, third, Kiwi Hero. King Ivor's been three deep from the outset into Gay's getting a lovely run, followed by Flak Jacket, Great Command, will want a bit of luck. He's bailed up on the fence. He's a Dane in a spot of bother, followed by Ebony Grove, who'll be carted deep on the turn and sweeping right around the outside. Baboo's boy as they turn the corner. 400 out, Might and Power the leader. West Point goes to him pretty easily on the outside. Into Gay's is after them now, and Great Command into the clear, taking a while to get going. At the 200, Might and Power fighting back. West Point's gone. Intergaze has grabbed Might and Power. They're clear of great command, but Intergaze shot clear 100 metres out. Craig Carmody goes for home and Intergaze for the Canterbury Guineas. Intergaze beat Might and Power. Gallant in defeat. Third's close. Great command and West Point and then California. He's a day... Yeah. Per lane, star covered. Intergaze is still about eight lengths off the lead as they come to the corner, followed by Gwingana. Then Emerald Cut, well back. He's a Dane. Dan Andrew will have to do a mighty job, and last is Ebony Grove coming over the rise and Torbellino hit the lead in the derby from Don Tristram further out is Turn Me Loose and then Flak Jacket Heroes return coming right down the outside Tarn Per Lane into Gazers now getting a split between them here's Dan Andrey and Ebony Grove coming from Stone Motherless last Dan Andrey and Ebony Grove go to the lead together it's Di and Beedman Ebony Grove Dan Andrey oh desperate Barna, something special is out three deep and then Sakti followed by Blue Gum three deep lacks the music seeing stars next and then Super Steam and Farings truly halo and dropping out last Indianapolis 700 metres out Gunshot is the leader in second place Kiwi Hero Might and Power third getting a perfect run and then Babu's Boy something special is out deep around El Zabana and Sakti a gap to seeing stars under heavy pressure followed by Blue Gum who lost his spot and well back lacks the music and Super Steam as they come around the corner corner into the straight now he's off the fence on might and power and might and power quickly raced up and he ambled to the front on top of the rise might and power shot clear coming to the 200 mark he put about two and a half lengths on Sakti, followed by Babu's boy and then something special but it's all might and power he's been the real surprise packet of the three-year-old group an enormous run in the derby last week and he deserves this win and he wins with his head on his chest well done Nick Moratus might and power beat Sakti, seeing stars has run hand about three to Pimpala Sun Monet's Cove is flat to the boards followed by Pragmatism Might and Power and then Future King followed by Alpha here's the Prince as they turn for home into the straight Armadale a clear cut leader turning the corner over Marsh Party and Savant Rouge then Charlie Bubbles whistle up and where are the others Future King is still a mile back with Monet's Cove but Armadale Armadale is in full flight 100 metres out and he's got them beaten although Alpha is starting to charge late with Might and Power Armadale is walking might and Powers grabbed him with Alpha. I think Might and Powers. Jacket well back, Dane Ripper, followed by Star Cupboard and Blue Gum. As they come over the rise, Monet's Cove running a cheeky race as well. Clear, Tarn Per Lane is getting out after him, then Might and Power hanging in, followed by Iron Horse and Alpha starting to charge home. Monet's Cove, Tarn Per Lane, Iron Horse is grabbing them. Iron Horse and Tarn Per Lane, Alpha and Blazing Steel jumping out of the ground, but it's Iron Horse for the Epsom and the Variety Club of Australia. Iron Horse...
Things to Magnet Bay, Bonsai Pipeline, Ebony Grove taken out wide. One of the half further back is Markham over on the inside as Dorema starts a run on the outside. They're being followed well back in the field by Peep on the Sly and Count Chivas and Skybow, one of the last. Might and Power still has the lead coming to the turn at the 500. A length in front of Day Bay. Always aloof has called on for the run on the outside. Marble Halls has nowhere to go back on the rails. Round the turn now and Might and Power shot about two and a half in front. Always aloof chasing hard and then came Ebony Grove coming down the outside. Might and Power well clear at the 200 metre mark. He's gone out by four lengths. It looks all over. Marble Halls is running on on the inside, followed by Istadad and now Doremus coming home, but Might and Power has gapped them in the Caulfield Cup. What a win. He's won it by seven lengths. Doremus is second, photo third, either Markham or Catlin opening. Viali the centre, one further back is Magnet Bay, Sapio around it, Grandmaster sneaking up on the rail from Always Zulu for Arabian Story, Count Chivers and Doremus, a good way back, Bonsai Pipeline has dropped out of it, followed by Harbour Dews when they came near to the turn, Ebony Grove's got some work to do and Alpha's one of the last when they swept to the turn, where Linesman raced up and joined Might and Power, the brothers Cassidy turn around the bend together, Linesman under the whip and Might and Power, they lead from Yobro third entering the straight, Grandmaster's coming home along the inside from Sapio, here comes Doremus with a run. Arabian Story is next and then Viali. Might and Power shook off linesman though. At the 300 he raced out by two lengths with Doremus challenging. Ebony Groves getting a rails run followed by Grandmaster and Markham. Might and Power the leader inside the 200. Two lengths in front of linesman and then Doremus on the outside. Might and Power the leader. Doremus trying hardest coming at him. Might and Power and Doremus. Doremus getting the Might and Power. They hit the line photo. Oh! Nothing between them. Doremus or Might and Power in a close game. Power kept away. Might and Power two lengths on goal. Guru desperately ridden. Moss Downs is running on gamely but Might and Power Might and Power coming to the 200 raced away. Put about four lengths on goal Guru. He is going to give them a galloping exhibition. The champ is back. The Maratus Marvel Might and Power racing away. Good on you son. Might and Power bolted in. Goal Guru second about six lengths away. A close third. Doremus a great run. The race so far, coming to the 600 metres mark, Might and Power, two and a half to Juggler, Champagne is still there, Catlin opening, getting to fourth as they near the turn, and then Danamora into gazes under heavy pressure at the tail of the field, Might and Power leads for home, Might and Power's about six off the fence, led by four lengths to Champagne, getting to second, Juggler's gone, Catlin opening, running on gamely, but Might and Power is a mile in front, coming to the 200, he's put five lengths on Champagne, he's breaking their hearts, in third place, Catlin opening, Juggler really struggling. But ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the new star of the Australian turf. Might and power making them look like second raters down to the line, nine lengths, I'd say. Champagne second, Catlin opening third, Juggler fourth. You were close, Catlin Tappy, not too far out after the uh, Sydney Carnival.
Big. Might and Power hit the front at the top of the straight. York's riding him very hard. Intergaze is coming on the outside. So is Summer Bow and I like him. Mighty Power turned for home at the 300. Intergaze is coming after Might and Power. I like him in the middle than Summer Bow. Might and Power in front. He's a length over. Intergaze trying hard and I like him in the middle. Might and Power the leader 100 to go. Intergaze can't pick him up. Might and Power in front. He's pulling out plenty. He's a champion all right. Might and Power. He won the cup. Might and Power beat Intergaze. Third I like him, fourth Marble Halls. Tycoon Lil by a length. Might and Power is given full bore. It's Tycoon Lil giving plenty under the whip on the inside. Might and Power is trying ever so hard. He's digging deep, the great champ. Might and Power gets to Tycoon Lil. Drew a half, drew a length. He's back. The mighty Moraitis Marvel. Might and Power by two lengths. He's won it magnificently for Jim Cassidy over Tycoon Lil. And the Alumba. So now he gets to Cox Plate Day. He's absolutely peaking. And well, Jimmy's just, back in the saddle, the Yellow oh, yes, <laughs> the, wheel, the wheel spun another time, and uh, Jimmy's back on board, runs the course record. It's worth just sitting back and watching this again, Terry. 500 metre mark, Tycoon Lil under enormous pressure. Camwood Melody the outside to Batavian Northern Drake at the 400 metre mark, and Jimmy's calling on the big horse, Might and Power, a length and a half. Tycoon Lil, Camwood Melody, then Northern Drake, and further back in the race, Catlin opening. Jimmy lets him go on the turn, and it's Might and Power, two or three in front from Tycoon Lil, Northern Drake down the outside, Tycoon Lil can't go on, Might and Power in front, he's got to get it, the earth starts to rumble, Might and Power takes the Cox Plate, a length and a half, Northern Drake, two lengths away, third Tycoon Lil, dodges fourth from Catlin opening, then further back, Dracula, Doremus, Gold Guru. Nearing the turn now, uh, when will Cassidy release the brakes on the great champ? It's Might and Power, just the leader, hasn't let him go as he comes to the 600 metres. Just in front of Boulder now, an Oregon star coming out three wide, whip starting to flail behind the champ. As the idol of Australian racing turns the corner, it's Might and Power, the leader, just wobbling a little bit off the uh, fence. A run on the inside for Bridal Man, but at the 400 metres now, and Might and Power is the leader. Cassidy now starts to give him a little dig in the ribs, and away he goes at the 300. He here comes the great champion, Might and Power. Three links clear now from Oregon Star, trying hard, and then Boulder and Bridal Man. But the idol of Australian racing, Might and Power, let go in the last 150, and away he goes, the champ. The great champ, Might and Power, wins it.